So one question that came in from Michael, um, it seems that employers and employees often use different sources for comp compensation data. Yeah. Have you encountered issues with this misalignment of candidate expectations in the role? And, and what would you recommend to minimize the difference in expectations of, of compensation? Yeah, I mean, there, th that is one of the biggest problems, right? I think, um, look, simply when you, when you uh, let, let's just bring up Radford, for example, we've got a lot of early stage companies using Radford and there's like varying surveys, right? And we're trying to educate our customers on like, hey, you know, the equity data uh, that's being represented in their global survey is based on public company data. Now, is that, you know, appropriate to use for a company that is a Series A or Series B? So this is part of the discussion and this is part of the training that needs to be had with talent and uh, managers as well because you've got to be able to catch this because there's just so much, um, uh, there's just a lot of myths around data or, you know, just simply of, hey, basis points. I've got this many in basis points for this company and I've got 20,000 shares here. I believe it's worth this. I don't believe it's worth this. And I think that drives people mad. It drives managers mad. It drives candidates really mad around who do we believe? And that's why many people don't trust compensation, right? And it goes back to, hey, what is our philosophy and our strategy? And really define, this is the data we use. This is the, you know, uh, the, the, where this is coming from. This is our market positioning strategy. Um, and this is how we think about establishment of our salary and equity bands and we do it in a fair and a consistent way, right? And if you're able to have those, I think you're able to cut off a lot of these um, uh, preconceived uh, or myths out there around, you know, um, uh, this equity package is worth more uh, than that, right? Because it, we all know that, you know, um, it's all notional value anyways, until you get a point where uh, the company really does have le legitimate enterprise value um, and you can actually see that um, uh, head towards a, you know, an exit.